the Cinch Stadium at Franklin's Gardens. Loughborough Lightning versus Harlequins Women, the second time these two teams have met. Loughborough Lightning still waiting to reintroduce their Red Roses, of course, but they're able to name an unchanged Type 5 from the Premier 15's Round 1. Two changes in the back line come in form of Rachel Malcolm, who captains the side, and Sally Williams on the open side. Two changes in the back line, too, on the left wing, where Lucha Lynn comes in for Amanda Schwartz, the very exciting teenager, and Molly Lutehi, another youngster who's given an opportunity to cut her teeth at the top level. As for Harlequins, new eras begin and heavy hitters return. Let's start with the new eras. It's a debut for the Australian Bella McKenzie at fullback and first starts for Lauren Torley and Bryony Cleal as well. Both came off the bench in the Worcester Warriors defeat last week. Cleal getting her first Quinns try that day as well. How long can Lightning survive? Another penalty advantage coming. Lily Ives campion offside. Neil Chivers. Eventually puts the whistle to his lips. They were short and short and short. Then Jade Conkle Roberts bullies her way over. And finally, Harlequins break the deadlock. Into the last eight minutes or so of this first half. They go to ground, they look to Maul. And the Maul proving a very effective tool. Dobson there at the back. Still attached, still sneaking forward. Patient work from Quinn, searching for try number two. Getting try number two! Bryony Cleal, two appearances in a Quinn's jersey, two tries, and Quinn's up to double figures. This would be a brilliant start for Quinn's. Conkle Roberts gets her head down, takes them to within two metres. This is clinical carrying from Quinn's. They've been pretty accurate in this area. Another short-range try. So they've lost their pace outlet, but kept all of their midfield kickers on. Jess Weaver waits behind the scrum. Now she gets it. There's an overlap here for Lightning. Of course there is. There was a big read, a massive shot, but Lightning on the march. Lightning over the line. Georgie Lingham. Brilliant finish from Lingham. She's a scorer of great tries, but she scored an important try here. Lightning back in the game. Harlequins two players down. It's 8-19. All of a sudden, it started to feel like a sevens game. A bandage has come over her eyes as she was running. Space here for Lightning, they need to get the ball there, and they do. Weaver, someone needs to tackle her. Sorry, that was Daisy Hibbert-Jones. Now there's a race for the corner. What a score, Danny Allen. So Georgie Lingham got so excited. Well, everyone here is losing their heads, myself included, but love for Lightning and Georgie Lingham kept theirs. Oh my, what a game we have on our hands. It's a grandstand finish. Lightning 13, Quinns 19. Orkin has to dig, slower than she wants. Here's Katie Mew. Katie Mew can't reach out. Surely it's coming for Quinns. Here's Scott, out wide. They're queuing up. Izzy Mayhew on her 50th appearance gets the bonus point try for Harlequins and seals their first victory of the season. Um, for me, yeah, it goes through uh, Conkle, Cleal, Mayhew and Katie Mew. But I think it's uh, Conkle who's been phenomenal today. Got a team on the front foot, carried really, really well and just been an absolute nause every breakdown. So for me, she's uh, the player of the match. Harlequins get their season underway after the disappointment at the stoop last week. It is joy at the Cinch Stadium. They have got a bonus point. And the wait for the first win of the season continues for Loughborough Lightning. Two games, two defeats. They've got some red roses to come back in. And those red roses will have some catching up to do.